Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Technos product review. Today's product is the brand new EB70 from Blue Eddy. It's the first ever full-size solar generator to offer dual 100 watt power delivery outputs and a 2500 cycle lithium iron phosphate battery at a price that will literally shock you. So let's check it out. Now the Blue Eddy does come in three different colors. This is their green teal color, and they also offer red and black. So don't think this is the only color you can get it in. As for battery on this, this has a 716 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery rated at 2,500 cycles to 80% capacity. Now for size and weight, I'll put that at the bottom of the screen. Because this does use lithium iron phosphate batteries, it is a little bit heavier than you'd expect for something of this size. This clocks in at 21.6 pounds as weighed. As for build quality, this is ABS plastic all the way around. It does have a folding handle, which is cool, and some rubberized feet. The display, as you can see, is a color LCD. It's pretty basic. It shows your input and output watts as well as any error codes that might come up, and it has a five segment battery icon. There is no percentage of battery charge on this. As for the inverter, they offer a 700 watt pure sign inverter with a 1400 watt peak and four outlets. This does have an MPPT solar controller built in and it supports up to 200 watts of solar from 12 to 30 volts. Now there are three ways to charge the Blue Eddy. One is with the included AC wall charger. This will charge at a 200 watt rate, which means you can charge from zero to full in three and a half hours, which is pretty impressive. You can also charge from the included 12 and 24 volt car charger. Now at 12 volts, this will take about eight hours to charge the Blue Eddy and at 24 volts, about half that time. And of course, Blue Eddy includes a solar MC4 charging cable. If you're able to max this out at the 200 watt solar charge, you can charge in under four hours. Now using a typical 200 watt solar panel, I would expect this would charge in about four to five hours under ideal conditions. As for 12 volt output types, you have a single 12 volt regulated cigarette lighter output. Now this is regulated at 13.4 volts and good for 10 amps. There is two 5.5 millimeter or 5521 outputs also rated at 10 amps. And then you have your USB section. USB on this, you have two 100 watt power delivery outputs. These are outputs only. These do not accept power in. And then you have two old school dinosaur like USB-A ports that support five volts at three amps. Other charging, this does have a 15 watt wireless charging pad up top like most Blue Eddy products do. And unlike some other competitors, this actually has a very bright flashlight, low, medium, high, and SOS for those times you're stranded on that deserted island with your coveted Blue Eddy. And as for the warranty, Blue Eddy offers a two year warranty on all their products. And of course we took the Blue Eddy EB70 into our secret laboratory where we performed all kinds of crazy experiments on it. Of course, I did both an AC and DC capacity test on this, so you know what that means. It's another double-fisted capacity test. You can see the results from the capacity test. 630 watt hours out of 716 or 88% for the DC output on this. That is much better than other Blue Eddy products. As for the AC capacity test, that scored even better. 640 watt hours out of 716 or 89% efficiency. That is some of the best I've seen from Blue Eddy since way back in the EB150 days. The DC output rate check, we got nine and a half amps at 12 and a half volts or 118 watts. The 12 volt is regulated at 13.4 volts, and we did a pure sine wave check under load. So you can see that the voltage has dropped to 106, so then it jumps back up to 112 once I disable the load. Now I'm not too thrilled about that, but the sine wave stays good, so 
This does have a decent inverter in it. It's not as good as Blue Eddy's top-of-the-line products, and it's not as good as Jackery's top-of-the-line products. We did an inverter capacity test. We were able to run 800 watts out of the inverter for one and a half minutes before it shut down, so it was able to take a little bit more than 700 was what this is rated for. Now, we did run it at 700 watts for at least five minutes. We had no overheating issues, and we'll just restart the test again at 700 watts, see if we can make it five minutes. All right, there you have it. No problem running a slightly over 700 watt load for at least five minutes. Now, one of the things I noticed about the EB70 is that the fan that cools it off is actually pretty quiet. You can hear it, but it's not very loud and it's certainly not annoying. Okay, there's the inverter fan. It's very quiet. Okay, 48 decibels, that's really quiet. So like I said, the fan in this is very good. Can you charge while you use it? Of course, nowadays in 2021, if you can't pass through charge, you may as well throw the thing in the trash. As for the max charge rate, we're able to pull 200 watts at 30 volts. Okay, right at 12.6 volts, it starts to charge. All right, so 12.6 volts, 95 watts, that's not bad at all, that's car charging. 140 watts at the low end of a cheap, say like rock pile solar panel. Let's bump up to a Jackery or higher quality panel, which would give you closer to 24 volts, and we're getting 184 watts. So we're pretty much almost at what this says maximum at a typical single solar panel. So heck, you plug in a single 200 watt 12 volt panel, you might be able to max this out. So at exactly 30 volts, it cuts out. So you actually can charge this from 12 to 30 volts, even though it says 12 to 28 volts on her. So you can put a pretty big single 12 volt solar panel on this. Now you can't run a 24 volt panel, and you can't run panels in series. So the only way you can charge this Bluetti is with a single 12 volt panel up to 200 watts. And gee, surprise, Bluetti offers a 12 volt panel that's 200 watts. So yeah, you can use their SP120 or SP200 panels. I have them both. They're both very high quality panels. And yes, I know they're expensive, but you get what you pay for. They're sun power cells. So they're the top quality cells for a solar panel. They're very durable. They're waterproof and they work well, even if it's not perfectly sunny. So you can get one of the SP200s. If you just want one panel to charge this, you can do that. You, as you saw, you can get up to 200 watts input on this with a single solar panel. So hey, exactly as advertised. Blue Eddy does offer two 100 watt power delivery ports. Now, what I wasn't sure is if they support 100 watts out at the same time, like the little power bend here that nobody watched that video. I was kind of sad that so many people missed how cool this little power bend is. The power bend can take 100 watts in, so I'm gonna use this as a load, and it's running to the output of the Blue Eddy 100 watt power delivery. I'm also using my load tester to pull the 100 watts from the other power delivery port. We go, we're getting 200 out. So 100 of that's going into the power bin, and then the other 100 is going into my load test meter right here. That's pretty amazing. It's hard to even find an AC wall charger that does power delivery with two 100 watt ports. So fantastic, good job there, Blue Eddy. As for other findings, one of the things that kind of disturbed me was the fact that when you plug the AC wall charger in, the fan stays on all the time, whether it's charging or not. And that fan is kind of noisy. So I did a decibel test on that. Now, uh, here is the AC wall charger. It's got a little fan in there. You expect while you're charging, the fan's gonna run. Note, this is not plugged into anything. Okay, so we're just gonna throw that back there. I have the inverter on. So we're just gonna use this as an AC output. So now I have the charger plugged in for the EV70. You hear that? The fan's on. So whether or not the Blue Eddy's charged up, the fan's gonna stay on as long as this is plugged in. Forever, forever and ever, okay? That is the dumbest design decision ever. <laughs> Because if you leave that plugged into the wall all the time, the fan's gonna run all the time. You have to actually unplug it from the wall, wait a few seconds for the capacitors to discharge, and then it shuts off. That means if you wanna charge this thing overnight from the wall, you better put this in a room or a location where it's not gonna bother you with the noise because once the Blue Eddy's fully charged, that fan still runs. So how loud is the fan? about 52 decibels. So the charger's not necessarily loud, but I'm in this quiet room with no other noises right now. It's really loud compared to no noise at all in the room. So anywhere I'd be, no matter where I'm at in this upstairs area, I could hear that fan. So if I was trying to sleep or something, forget it. 
So my favorite features on the EV70 are the fantastic dual 100 watt power delivery outputs and the high efficiency AC inverter as well as the high efficiency regulated 12 volt. Bluetti finally has a very well rounded mid range product that can efficiently run low power loads for a long time with little overhead. This thing is perfect for 12 volt fridges, CPAP machines, and charging modern laptops and other devices that need power delivery. Now what I don't like is that loud always on fan on the AC charger, which is pretty annoying. And the AC inverter on this isn't perfect. It's not as high quality as you'd get on one of their more expensive products like the AC200P. It did have problems handling the solar generator, didn't like it at all. However, it didn't self-destruct, it didn't blow up or overheat. So it's a good inverter, it's just not the best inverter Blue Eddy's ever put out. Then again, this isn't a $1,500 Jackery. Now I also would have liked if this product would have allowed two solar panel charging in series for easier charging. The way it sits, in order to max up that 200 watts, you need a 200 watt panel. You can't really use two 100 watt panels and get the same results. Now, current price of the EB70 as of launch day, which is today, is $499 with the current Hobotech discount code. This price is for a limited time. Now I do suggest if you want to charge this with solar to use either the 200 watt Blue Eddy SP200 solar panel or the Rich Solar 200 watt solar panel, both can be found at hobotech.tv slash Amazon. And if you're interested in the EB70, the link is in the description below with that discount code. And I'll also have links down there for the solar panels I just mentioned. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. As you probably noticed, today's video was greatly abbreviated so that I could get it out in time for the launch. I only had three days from the time this thing showed up at my door to get this video done. So let me know in the comments if you actually like this shorter format. Thanks. <laughs>